Hello everyone, this is Umar. Welcome to the channel. This is the continuation of our RHCSA practice exam series uh, and we are at question, question number 10. So in this question, it is asking us to configure a web server on a custom port. Now this question is, uh, this video will be a little bit lengthier than the other video in the series. So uh, because we will be going in a little bit of detail because there are certain different things that we need to know and understand now before i begin i remind you that this this series which i created it is specifically for rhcsa exam practice so i expect you to have certain knowledge about about many things in linux so i, I expect you to know how to install linux how how your your way around the basic commands and specifically for this question i expect you to know that how the web server works, how it is configured on the default port, how you can install and configure Apache on a, on a default port. If you don't know that, I recommend you to go and do that, run the Apache on default port and try to see how it works, all right? The second important thing that I want to remind you is you need to know what SE Linux is. You have to understand what is SE Linux how it works, what are the commands for SE Linux. So you have to have at least basic understanding of SE Linux. For that, I've given you, as always, in each of my videos, I'm, I'm giving you the reference documents about the uh, topics we will be covering in the question. So this is this, these are the very high level uh, documentation. These are not the detailed documentation, but it will give you pretty much understanding about SE Linux. So if you don't know about SE Linux, I recommend you to go through, this, go through these documentations first. And there are plenty of other documents available on Red Hat uh, website. And there are other documents uh, available on Google if you search about SE Linux. So I do recommend you, if you don't know about SE Linux, it is very important for you to know as a system administrator. And if you are trying to become RSCSA, and if you're trying to pass RSCSA, it is very important for you to understand SE Linux. So if you don't know about SE Linux, please do read about it. The second reference document I'm giving you about uh, from the Red Hat documentation is about the configuration of service on custom ports. So any service. So one of the examples in this documentation is given about the Apache server. So how to run the Apache server on a custom port. So having said that, let, let's begin. I hope if you have a little bit of understanding, I hope you will understand what we are trying to achieve out here. We are trying to solve this question and we'll try to install Apache and run it on port 82. So uh, before we begin, we have to perform, it's, it's better to perform certain basic tasks to check if the Apache is running or not in our server on this port. So let's go ahead and go to node 1 and see using the curl command you don't need a browser just curl command will uh, basically show see and try to connect this port and if it is if there is a default index page it will show you out there so let's try to run this one so that means there is nothing running port 82 apache server is not running on build because it failed to connect on port 82 connection review so there is uh, apache server is definitely not running on this one so there is another way to check if any other service other than Apache is using this port or not. So let's try to check. There is nothing running on port 82. So port 82 is free right now. So learn about these basic commands. There are, I, 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 if I if I start talking about these commands, it will be it will be really really lengthy video. So that's not our target out here. So I expect you to go through, try to understand your way through it way around it sorry so there is okay now this is the se linux command which will check what are the ports that are enabled and configured in our system for se linux so this command se manage try to learn this command uh, it will it will go and search for the port it will list all the ports if i run this command just like this without grepping if you see it will bring you all the types of different types of ports and services where they are running what are the ports uh, enabled for that by default 
so this there is a long list but we are right now we are interested in uh, apache server so that is related to http so and this one we will just run this command and grab the http port so <coughs> if you see this http uh, port t is for tcp these are the ports that are already configured most of these ports are actually default ports that we use uh, in for the apache server or in uh, nginx server or any other server so these are the default ports open so port 82 is not listed out here that means even if we configure our apache server to run on port 82 the system the se linux will not allow that even if you have managed to configure the port it, uh, the apache server on port 82 you will not be able to access it so we have to enable port out here we have to add the port in this service using se manage command so i'll show you how that is done all right so the first thing first we have to install apache we have to install httpt so this package has to be installed we in the beginning of the video series, I've already showed you how to configure the uh, uh, the repository. So maybe in the exam, you will be asked to configure the repository initially. So if you have, if your repository is not configured, you may not be able to install the packages. So this question is directly connected to that. So you have to make sure that your repository is configured. If your repository is not configured of node 01 or node 02, uh, you will face difficulty in installing packages and you may not be able to solve this, prob this problem uh, if the HTTPD is all not already installed. So we'll check it was not installed, it is installing. So HTTPD is installed and with the dependent packages. So if you remember when we configured the lab, we went through this exercise already. So let's go next. Then uh, this is the default location for the configuration file of Apache. So again, I will recommend you to run the Apache on default port, try to go through the, through the doc documentation, try to read about it, try to see what are the important parameters in this configuration file. So that will help you solve these kind of questions. So I'll just go ahead and edit that file. This The configuration file resides under etc httpd conf and the file name is httpd.com. So we'll open that file, search for listen. So this Apache server is listening on this port. So if you see Apache server by default listens to port 80. So what we will do, we will change the port to port 82. So we want Apache server to come up and use port 82. So we updated that as a non-standard port. Now, as I, as I mentioned earlier, let's run this command again for SE Linux and see the port 82 is not part of this. So we need to add the port in this configuration. So this is the command you use to add the port to SE Linux context. So we are using SE manage port we are adding it minus t is the type of the service uh, and then minus p is for the port if we are using tcp uh, as a protocol and 82 because apache is running with this it is using tcp port so we'll add that now run the same command to verify whether our port is added 82 is added so now 82 this system will, will allow port 82 to be used for any other service, but we will be using 82 for Apache service. All right, the, that's been done. Now there are firewall configuration that has to be done. You remember that we have, we have already done this firewall setting for configuring our uh, Apache server uh, for repository. So we'll go through this and do read about firewall as well to read about firewall as well it is very important to know firewall settings so this lecture is not uh, intended for training of firewall and other system administration tasks so what we will do we'll add this one as a service 
even if you don't add the service that's fine just add port it should work fine because it is not asking you to enable it over the network to other systems so it will be accessed locally so always whenever you make the changes to firewall make sure you reload it if you remember this firewall we added the port 82 so previously in our configuration we added port 80 for our repository configuration so let's go ahead and check the firewall setting quickly and see what it contains sudo sorry sudo firewall cmd minus minus rest minus r so it's this gave me authorization message because I did not use sudo because I am ICS7. I use sudo, I became root and then I ran this privileged command. So if you see and we enable service HTTP and we enable the port in firewood. So now it is accessible locally and it will be accessible over the in over the network as well. Alright, so now we already installed Apache will start and enable Apache. So this is the command which we used already previously using systemctl you start and stop and enable disable services. So we will use systemctl enable and minus minus now flag will start the Apache service. So let's clear this. Let's quickly check systemctl status http. As you can see, it is active, it is enabled, it is running. Right? And if you see, server configured listing on port 82. So Apache server is started and started listening on port 82. How we can confirm that? If you go up and grab for this one, we should see it should give us the result. Yes, so Apache is listening. Previously, when we run this command, there was nothing on port 82. Alright, so a quick test is to see whether our Apache server is running or not. We'll use curl command. If you remember, when we used the curl command before, it did not work. So, this command should give us the welcome page of the Apache server. So, yes, it is working. So, welcome page content we can see. When you see this one, there is no connection refuse. That means our Apache server is up and running on port 82. So this completes our question. Uh, thank you for watching. I again uh, request you to please go through this documentation. Try to understand whatever command we use. Try to know your way around these commands. System CTL, SE Manage and you know, configuring the basic uh, uh, Apache related stuff. Configuring Apache server on default port. Then try to configure the Apache server on uh, non-standard port. So thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I don't have time actually to go into the details, but I have given you the reference document. But do leave the comment, especially for this video. If you if you want to ask anything, feel free to leave the comment and I'll try to reply. Thank you for watching again and have a good day.